Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Wednesday catch-up. I've just come back from Onslow Park Steam Rally down in Shrewsbury. I've spent four days there, five days there with the wife. I had a fantastic time, really enjoyed it. I met some nice people. I met quite a few of my viewers that come to say hello. It was really good to shake your hands. When we're there, the wife Deborah found this. She just said that she needed it, so I bought it for her. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. I'm going to try and get it going for her and then probably polish it up and keep it in the house as an ornament. I think it's a really splendid bit of kit, that. It's a polyphon blue lamp. In this week's catch up, as I said, I was at uh, Onslow Park at the, the steam rally and there was a massive diesel engine there, a rusting diesel engine on an Arctic trailer that a lad had running. I got talking to him. And we're going on about favourite engines. Uh, my favourite engine is a steam engine, but my favourite internal combustion engine, I think, will probably be a Ford Cosworth DRV, which was the 3 litre V8 Formula 1 engine for years and years. Um, I've worked on a one, I've had a quick squirt of a runway in the car with the one on, and they are a hell of an engine. Uh, 3 litre, 500 horsepower, all day. Unfortunately, I can't show one of them, but I can show this big diesel engine running. And I think my second favourite it'll be the Merlin, which was the Spitfire engine. Uh, the Merlin was the supercharged um, Meteor engine. Meteor was one of the big bombers, and the Merlin was in the Spitfires and the Hurricanes. I was at Croft a few weeks ago, and I got the chance to sort of stand behind the engine where you shouldn't be, and I got some video of that. And a friend of mine actually took some video from the front of the engine, and you can see me hiding in the background, Doing some video, I'll show a little bit of that. On an engineering side of things, I've had quite a few requests. One that's come in two or three times, in fact more than that, is how do I set up a lathe tool on centre height. So I'll do a quickie on lathe tool centre height setting uh, for the engineering part of tonight's little Wednesday escapade.
Csillan az a Csillan az a Mirva Lassó Monsz. Hall of Hughes just fabricated aluminium, well, they got That's its part on the other side. A big knob on the end of that gear is actually a diff lock button so it can lock the diff between both drive chains. Center height on a lathe simply means the center of the lathe. That tip is in the center of the lathe. The center of piece of round bar in a three jaw chuck is in the center of the lathe. The lathe tool needs to be dead on center height, that is to say, right in the middle. All, if not most, lathe tools need to be on center height to cut effectively and efficiently. One of the simplest ways is to have a lathe center in like that and just eyeball the tip of the tool on the center height. In my eyeball, it looks pretty good. But pretty good isn't good enough. You've got to get it absolutely spot on. A really simple way if they can send the height, is to bring the tool in till it touches the job or nearly touches the job. You have to be careful, especially with a chip, tipped tool, that you don't chip it. Put a steel ruler in there like that, touch it on, and you can see the steel rule is actually lying out very slightly, which means that the tool is very, very slightly below centre height. So if we adjust the tool, you can see. And when you're just up there and you can see that the rule light is moving out of perpendicular or out of true as I go above and below a centre height. By far the most accurate way is to take a cut across the face. We'll do that now, we'll power the lathe up, we'll take a light cut across there and the idea is that the Cut should have no little pip in the centre. Right, so that's good, there's no pip in the centre. What I'll do, I'll lift the tool up slightly. Take another cut. And if you look carefully, you can see that the tool has left a little pip. The tool is actually above centre. If we go the other way, and have a too far down. left a little pip because the tool was below centre. It's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button to one of them corners. It's free, makes a big difference to me. Anyway, thanks for watching.